Hey, Mark. Hey, Kevin. So, uh, jointers for jointing a brick wall? Right. So, to finish our product, our brick wall, we need to joint off the masonry joints. It's the finishing tool that we use to make everything look good. Sometimes it's the difference between a good mason and a bad mason. Done well and clean. You know you work with a pro, right. a little bit sloppy. It might be my handiwork. Could be <laughs> trouble. Right. Okay. So, um, so we've got different tools, but we also get different profiles from the tools. Right. So the most common in this area is going to be the convex. So the convex is referring to the shape of the tool, this being the convex That's shape, right. not concave. Exactly. Even though it leaves a concave profile when you're done. Right. Okay. And the key to this one is actually at the end. Again, we'll brush these joints to make them look pretty, and then we'll run this jointer all the way across again. We call that a slick. And what does that do for us? The slick is what weatherizes the masonry. Which so seals it up. Seals it up. Very important in, in New England, so yeah. that's why this is the most common. This profile, how'd you get that? So second profile, again, a pretty common joint, not really uh, in this area, but down Pennsylvania, down uh, south, you'll see what they call the grapevine. Oh, interesting. Yeah, so grapevine it's got that one little bead on the back side. One bead. So again, is just run it through the brickwork. You can see a little bit more of the definition as I go through the head joint. Right, so head joint, bed joint, correct? Exactly. Gotcha. Exactly. Okay. Uh, this profile right here? So again, this is going to be a little different in the sense that all we're going to use is a flat joiner. Exactly uh, as it sounds, just a flat profile. It's just flat, but we're going to do something different with it. Um, watch me run it through, and again, you see the angle that I'm doing? Oh, interesting. That's okay. right. Okay, you see how I've created a drip edge on this brick? That's So it's clean, exposed to the top brick, but then beveled out and hits and overlaps the bottom brick. Exactly. That so, creates a drip edge? So, well, you can see that clean this right there. Throws it off. That's right. So that's what I'm calling the drip edge. Water will hit the wall. It'll run down the wall. It'll catch that edge and just drip right down as opposed to being sucked into the mortar. Right. Now the angle that you see that I've left, in case any water does hit that angle, it's going to slide right off. Beautiful. Okay, moving up the line. What's this profile Moving here? up, this is what we call a rat's tail. Oosh, I don't want to meet yeah, that rat. You don't want to meet that I rat. I see where the name comes exactly. from. Exactly. But this joiner is going to help me out if I have varying widths in my joints in my brickwork. Mm -hmm. So I will take this rat's tail and I'd have the ability to joint up, say, something that was 3 eighths or even a little heavier or even a little smaller. As you can see, the tool dissipates at the top, Oh yeah. but look at how beefy it is in the middle. So you can actually just change which part of the surface you push into the joint to exactly. change the thickness. Yep. Oh, that's very cool. Yeah, that's All cool. Right. Now, super clean lines right here. We've got actually both bottom and top of these two bricks exposed. How do you right, make that? Right. So what we use to get that is what we call a skate joiner. Hmm, never okay. seen anything like right. that before. Look at the masonry nail. Yep. Typical masonry nail that we can adjust bigger or smaller with this screw right here. And then once we find our desired depth, all we do is drag it from one end of our brick wall to the other, just like this. That masonry nail is gonna dig out, again, the mortar to our depth. We're gonna flip this tool, huh. okay? And watch this. That's my working end of this tool right there. Finishes it off right there. Finishes it off, and again, leaves us that nice crisp look. Yeah, that is a nice clean look. And then the final guy, similar to the first one. It's similar to the first one, although it's the reverse of the first one. So we call this a concave. Right. And again, you can see the bead that it's going to leave us. And yep. again, simply aesthetics on this one as well. This is a profile that we saw a lot recently when we were down in Charleston, South Carolina, sort of making your point that they all perform the same, but regional differences just for the look. Exactly. So down south as we both know we're not going to get that freeze thaw. Right. That's why something like this will stand the weather down there a little bit better. Beautiful. All right, nice work. Good information. Right. Thank Thanks, you, Mark. Kevin. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project. So, be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.